Hi everybody, um, I'm making this video to go on a quick little sketchbook tour through some of my sketchbooks to show you what a sketchbook can be used for and why it's important. So being an artist takes practice. It's like flexing a muscle, right? It's like going to the gym. Um, every good artist keeps a sketchbook as a place for them to record ideas and practice skills. Um, it's a very personal thing and there are no rules, right? There's no wrong or right way to keep a sketchbook. So I'm going to show you some things from some of my sketchbooks as examples. So a sketchbook can be a great place to record your experiences with art. So for example, this these are in progress photos of a clay sculpture that I made. Um, none of those are what it looked like when it was finished, but that helps me to see how I got to the finished product. Um, some of these little ones are finished and you'll notice little notes here. Those are the recipes for the colors, the way that it's glazed. So it could be a record of how you created something in case you ever want to reference that and create something similar or create it again, or just remember how you did it. So it's a great place, almost like a diary for artists. It can also be a place where you can develop ideas. So sometimes there's a lot of text because you're deciding how you wanna lay out your drawing, right? And you can draw little sketches um, with less pressure than a final project. So it's great for that. It can also be a great place to express yourself. Sometimes that's through a drawing I'm really into sci-fi, so I created this weird dragon guy. You can express yourself with your art. Sometimes I write little poems in my sketchbook. That's another way to express yourself. Um, it's also a great place to just play around and explore. So sometimes I make quick, fun drawings that are just shapes and Sometimes I play with trying to draw my dog. Some of them are quicker. You'll notice there's a drawing of her back on the wall when she was sleeping. It's really um, easy to draw her when she's laying down and sleeping. She's getting, my dog's getting a little old. So I have a lot of drawings of my dog, but it's a great place to keep um, little explorations, little sketches, things like that. Um, it's also a great place to practice skills. So this sketchbook has like 30 drawings of hands in it because I was just trying to get really good at drawing hands. So it's a great place to practice. Uh, it's also a great place to put research, things from class or um, notes from class. So this big book is from a class that I took at Brooklyn College. It has all my notes from class in it. And it's also a really cool place to just collect things. So this was a little sketchbook. I didn't draw that, that's just the cover. Um, this is a little sketchbook I took to the Cloisters, which is a museum. And I'm collecting little drawings of paintings and sculptures that I saw at the museum. So I was observing the sculptures and and drawing them in this sketchbook. So this is kind of like a little collection. You can also print things out, cut them and paste them into your sketchbook as a collection, right? So it's nice um, because it can be a great resource for you to go back and reflect on things that you've accomplished. It's a great place for you to get messy and have fun and make lots of different little drawings with no pressure. It's not a final project. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. So those are all great reasons to keep a sketchbook. And um, we're gonna talk more about it in class. I just wanted to create this video at home so that you guys could see some of my sketchbooks and, and kind of what they look like and what they're for. So. Thanks for tuning in and I'm excited to see what you all do with your sketchbooks.